Hi friends, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this mini slimline card for you today using the really, really adorable Build a Snowman die set. This die set is so fun. There's so many different ways that you can personalize your little snow person with all of these different sweet little embellishments to coordinate with your little snow person that you want to create. Here you can just see all of these little bits that I have die cut out of some white cardstock ready to go ahead and build the snowman for my little mini slimline card. Now I cut out the smallest part of this um, snow person twice and I glued those two head pieces together and then I took the little eyes and mouth pieces I colored them with my black marker and then I glued them back into those little indentations for the eyes and the mouth and so that piece is pretty much all ready to go but what I do want to do with the pieces that I am going to use is add some color to them and I'm going to do that with my Copic markers that was just the coloring method that I chose uh, on this particular occasion. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a piece of white cardstock. I've put that up underneath my um, pieces that I'm going to color just to protect my mat. And what I'm going to do here is just use a cool gray and a really nice icy blue. And I'm just going to go around the edges of the uh, snowballs here to create my snow person. I just wanted to add a little bit of blue gray edging uh, to each of the different layers of the snowman so that it just looked a little bit icy sort of to get just give that little bit of dimension to the edges of my snowman. So you're just seeing here, I'm just gonna use the edge of the marker to go around and do that with both the gray and the blue and just build that layer of color in that way. Very, very easy to do and I think it's pretty effective. I do like the, just that little bit of detail that it adds to my snowman. So now I'm going to take the crystal, I'm actually gonna show you first here, the mini slimline um, sweet stack dies. And I use the largest die in that set to cut out my card panel for my card front. And I'm also using the crystal kaleidoscope stencil that's brand new from the vintage holiday release. And actually I think basically all of the products I'm using here today are new from the vintage holiday release. And I just wanted to create a really non-traditional traditional color scheme here for my base. Now you can just see that I colored the little bird die cut there from a, I think I used R22, which I think is prawn, my uh, kind of a pinky orangey color for the bird. And that matches up perfectly with the abandoned coral oxide ink. So I'm blending abandoned coral and wild honey through the crystal kaleidoscope stencil. And I'm just going to blend that through really lightly for especially for the yellow. I didn't want the yellow to be too bold. Now I'm just moving the stencil down so that it will cover the whole mini slimline card base here and or my card panel. Just going to finish up that wild honey at the bottom. And that will complete the, the blending that I'm doing here. I just used my uh, domed foam uh, blender there. And here you can just see that I have also die cut with the gorgeous, um, that's the pierced Fancy Flake A2 cover plate. And I just did a bunch of um, cutting with that or piercing the paper in that pattern and now I'm going to take my sweet stock circle dies and I'm going to cut a bunch of different uh, size circles out of that snowflake pierce paper and I'm just going to go ahead and stick those onto my card front where I've done that ink blending so that that color collide or that um, crystal collide scope stenciling is just going to pop out around these textured circles and this is just going to create a really pretty card front that has just lots of really pretty subtle color and texture. I really love how this turns out. Now I've just flipped it over. I'm taking my scissors. I'm just going to trim off the excess paper there. So you'll just see me there taking my scissors, trimming off those circles. And I'm actually going to use a couple of those pieces that I've trimmed off to add parts of circles, slivers of circles to the card front here. You'll see me do that in a bit. But here you can just see how I have all of these little bits that I wanted to add color to, um, ready to go ahead to create my little snowman. I just kind of wanted to get an idea of where I wanted to put the snowman. And I just decided that I wanted another part of a circle down at the bottom. So I just took one of those pieces that I trimmed off and I'm gonna glue that down at the bottom. It kind of almost looks like a snowbank underneath a snow person or the snowman. 
I'm going to take another little one just to balance that off at the top as well. So I took another little sliver that I had trimmed off and glued that at the top. And now I've got all of those circles glued on as you saw. And now I'm going to start to add my little snowman um, bits and all of the other little embellishments from that die set to create my my details. So I've added the snow person on with um, foam adhesive and I'm going to add that little bird with some foam adhesive. I add the, the broom with foam adhesive as well. I'm going to take a little bit of clear wink of Stella just to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to my snow person here and to the bird. And now I'm just taking my white gel pen. I'm going to add some details, um, just some little highlights here and there with a white gel pen. I'm going to add a little eye to my little birdie. There actually is a die in the set that adds a little wing to the bird and I did not add that but you definitely could do that. Now this is the Biddy Buzzwords Holiday and love this set. This is so great for creating lots of different sentiments for your Christmas or holiday projects and I did die cut out the Merry and Christmas as well as the backing piece from that die set and so there's a stamp set and a coordinating die set for the Biddy Buzzwords holiday. I only used the dies. I didn't use the stamp. So that what you can see there that that's corally orange um, for the buzzword is actually um, cut from some cardstock. So I just had happened to have a color of cardstock in my stash that matches the color of the toque and the scarf and the bird. And I just love how these all these colors all coordinate together. They're so pretty. I did pop up my buzzwords on some foam adhesive and now I'm going to go ahead and add my card front to a slimline card base. And I just love this. I love the non-traditional colors. I think they're so pretty. I love this die set or these die sets so much and that stencil is just beautiful. Friends, thank you so much for watching. I have linked up to all of the products in the description box below. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.